Okay, Dark Hand here. Uh, we made some changes with the Okay, Dark Hand here. We made some changes with the D and D Middle Earth quest game. Now this game is lightly based on Tolkien books. Um, she drew the map out, and it's a quest game. You can be a dungeon master. As the owner, you would click here, and it attaches the DM HUD. <coughs> you can send once you you have your DM HUD on. You can add players by add and remove, and it will attach to them. Here, I'll put on one of these HUDs for you so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, and this is where the changes happen. These HUDs here, which are the player HUDs, um, you select like an avatar around you. So I'll just pick myself there, seven, and um, it would add me to the game. Now, originally, these HUDs logged into a database. And you'd save your stats when you first start up. Everybody starts out at nine, 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 five coins, and this database. And we were able to go back and use things later, but things have changed, and we're not able to do that. The database is just unfortunately a little more expensive, and the sales are a little too slow. So, once you have your HUDs on, I'm going to take this off. Um, this has different things you can find throughout. That's the only changes that happen, by the way, is the database. So now, when your characters start, they won't log into their old stats. They'll have to start with default stats. And as you play the game, you find shields and swords and hammers and magical things that give you modifiers for your roles. Because in this game, we can visit different places in Middle Earth. And then, as a dungeon master, I have all the tools. I can have you fight an orc, and then I can have I can have all the players lined up to play. We have all moving dice. Um, everything works. I would pick an avatar around me. There's no one around me right now that I can play uh, that's logged in. But you can pick an avatar that's in the game. If they were people in the game um, to fight. Um, different different creatures throughout this. Unfortunately, I'm wearing a few different HUDs at the moment, so a couple things are going on. But uh, this game is pretty easy. You, as a dungeon master, you have each of these have different armor levels, and if your players find enough hammers and swords, they roll against these and fight it, just like in D and D. We use the same rolls. I also gave coins where you can award coins. And then you can also charge coins for different parts of the uh, quests that you make up. Um, the other day we did one where they had to earn so many coins to get through a door. <coughs> and none of them had enough, so I had to keep having battle creatures and go to different parts on the map. And what this does is, is you go to visit different parts of Middle Earth. The knife slides around and it's proper location where it would be and we just go through everything um, and in my story you're trying to find the red crystal dragon the last middle earth dragon that was hidden past nog my story is just a, a story that's influenced by i don't want to break any copyright rules uh, so we have different different things um you can add and remove players um to close any menu, you just push that. Um, this all works very easily. I've been selling it for about a year now on Second Life, and uh, I've got some players and such. But no one really uses a database, and it's been having issues where it's down at times. And then the HUDs go to log into it, and it gives an error. So we just took that out. Um, the honesty is, is you can't keep any of your weapons you find. Your mod roll mod modifiers can't be kept either. It just at the end of the day, when we were reviewing it, it's like it's just keeping numbers that really don't affect anything. Because I didn't want somebody to play a bunch on an alt and get their stats all up and then be able to defeat anything they wanted. So you have to find the weapons to get the mod roll fires to beat the dragon in the end. You need quite a bit of modifiers and you need at least seven people playing. Uh, the dragon is very hard to kill. It has quite an armor class. 
So that's just about the only changes that I have that I want to discuss. And thanks for the few that watch. Uh, my, my videos don't get much watching. A lot of you guys just contact me. <clears throat> that's fine. I, I love helping people as easily as I can through text as the videos. But the videos would help if you could watch and give me a like once in a while. Um, anyways, thanks for watching and good luck on the game.